So this is the iPhone SE 4. This is it right here. Now, actually, this is the iPhone 14. This is a speculation, rumors-based video. I want to talk about this. I've been reading a lot about the iPhone SE 4. It's kind of a unicorn phone. Nobody knows exactly what it's going to be, but I will be using the 14 as the demonstration phone here because I strongly believe that the iPhone 14 is already kind of what's to come or most of what's to come. There's going to be some things about it that are going to be better than even the 14, and I'll talk about what those are in this video. But in this video, we're gonna talk about everything you can might be able to expect, and by the end of this video, I have a good idea, well, at least a good idea based on my research, um, or that you might wanna consider waiting out for this one. Now, to put things in perspective, let's take a look at the iPhone SE 3, the current one that came out. Now, when the iPhone SE second gen launched, I kinda liked it, it was a nice deal, but then, this was kind of old feeling already when it came out and it's just, it's not really fun anymore. I mean, look at the bezels, they're massive. I know people love Touch ID. I know the classic design is nice to some users, but at the same time, the iPhone SE 3 is just looking kind of long in the tooth right now. It's time for an update. And you can see it still kind of looks like iPhone 7, iPhone 6, and I really like its thinness. Um, I just don't understand how this is still for sale today. Like, who's buying this? Are you buying this? I don't know who's buying this phone anymore. I don't really even see these type of phones um, in many people's hands anymore, at least where I'm at. I see most people with like a 13, a 12, something like bigger. I don't usually see these anymore out in the streets. All right, so first thing we gotta talk about is the price, what to expect here. Well, the price of this phone, I expect to go up to around $599, maybe $499 if we're lucky. Um, yes, the current one's around $429, but that's only because it's in this shell. When they increase the screen size, when they give you the better chip in the future, they're probably gonna have AI features as well. The price is going up. Just expect it. You're not going to get the iPhone SE 4 with the bigger screen for the same money as the IC3. It's just not happening. I don't see that happening. I actually feel like Apple is going to launch the iPhone 16 with the AI features. They're also going to keep the 15 around, drop the 14. The 15 will go down to around $599, $699, around, probably $699 for being honest. The 16 will be $799. This one will come out of the lineup and the new SE4 um, will become around a $499 and $599 option, replacing the iPhone 14. Um, so if you want something similar to an iPhone SE4 right now, just get a 14, it's pretty close. So the build in the body, I do feel like is gonna be nearly identical here. We should have a similar 7000 series aluminum. Um, we are gonna have USB-C, obviously, they're not gonna go lightning no more. Um, we also will have probably a single camera reminiscent of this phone right here, the Apple iPhone 10 R. I do think that camera lens will grow in size though. Like it'll look something like this size of a lens. You see how much bigger that is. It's going to be a large lens like that. And I do think Apple might potentially shock us with a dual camera. Some people are saying a single, but there is a small chance I feel like of a dual, but more than likely it's gonna be a single camera as the SE before had a single camera. Due to the AI coming out, they might be able to crop in or do some AI magic to allow you to get some extra zoom even on a single camera, kind of like what Google Pixel has done in the past. So I do think um, the single camera is more likely, but there's a small chance maybe we get lucky with a dual, but probably not likely. In terms of the body and the build, it should be rated at IP68, but if you really wanted a small phone, the mini is gonna be gone, the SE is gonna be gone, the small phones are over. It's gonna go to 6.1 inch OLED screen. Now there is a small chance it's a 5.8, that would be really cool, um, but I don't think it's gonna happen because the mini was like similar to that size, 5.4 or something like that. Um, it wasn't selling that well, so I do feel like they're going 6.1 here. One thing that I'm not a big fan of is more than likely we're going to have 60 hertz once again. But there's a there's a little, it would be a shocker if Apple brought the 120 hertz to the 16 line and then just kept 60 hertz on the SE. That would make more sense. But a lot of rumors are pointing towards the 16 still having 60 hertz and waiting to the 17s to get ourselves a 120 hertz. So the lineup could still be, you know, 60 hertz across the 16 base and then 60 hertz on the SE4 should this phone launch. Um, so keep that in mind. That's what I'm kind of feeling like what's going to happen here. 
But overall, you know, having a single camera like the 10R, if we're able to crop in on do some AI magic, I don't think it's going to be a big issue because I know the sensor that they do put will be a pretty high end one with really good video and photo quality. Now, some rumors are pointing towards the iPhone SE 4 only giving us a 1080p max. That is not happening. I don't know why some people think that there's no way they're going to drop 4K 60 or 4K whatever's on the SE. I think it's 4K 60 on here. They're not going to take this phone and then give you worse video quality in the next one. That's just not happening. I don't know who, where that comes from, but there's no way they're going down from 4K 60. They're going to stay at 4K for sure. Nobody iPhones haven't had 1080 um, as their max video quality on the rear in so many years. Now, on the front, it would make sense, but definitely not on the rear. Now, in terms of the performance, the iPhone 15 actually has the Apple A16 Bionic chip, and this one has the A15 on the 14, and this is how the SE4 is going to do a little bit better than the iPhone 14. It should have itself the A16 that's found in the iPhone 15. I don't expect Dynamic Island. I think that's a separator. I think they're going to keep the notch on the iPhone SE 4, but they are going to give you the A16 Bionic, which will be faster than the iPhone 14. So that's going to be a nice touch, but you know, that's just something to think about. Also, if it does get the AI features, which I expect it to do to get with the iOS 18, you'll have a nice chip with a really nice amount of AI feature. I expect the iPhone SE 4 software to still be identical. I do think we're going to see a major overhaul. So this video is going to look outdated. If you're watching it post iOS 18, they're going to have a major overhaul with that upgrade. So by the time you see this, if you're watching this after iOS 18, I do expect it to get those features as well. If you're watching this now, I do expect the software to just kind of stay in, in line with the premium phones. The difference though, is I think in settings, um, you're going to go down to camera. You're going to have definitely more camera options on more premium phones than you'll find on the SE4 that is rumored to come. I also think that the bezels on the SE4 will be slightly thicker. They'll probably remain just like these right here, which aren't bad, but they're not going to be as thin as the iPhone 15 bezels or even the iPhone 16, which is rumored to get even thinner bezels. So that's another way they're going to separate it. The look by having thicker bezels, it just doesn't look as premium as these new edge to edge displays that are rumored to come on the 16s. So in conclusion, these phones right here, they give us a clues to an upcoming SE4. We have an iPhone 13, 14 like design as the iPhone 13 mini wasn't super seller, but the 14 and the 13 sold very well. I do expect Apple to bring this to the SE4, that design. I do expect a single camera with cropping in and some AI magic to make it even better and as a way to get the cost down. So iPhone XR gives us a clue. I don't expect pretty much anything from DSE, the smaller one. This one is goodbye. But I do expect the iPhone 15's processor in the iPhone SE 4. So it kind of makes sense, bro. Like if you think about it, launch date somewhere in 2025, spring of next year, maybe about a year from to from now. Um, if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Here's why. Right now we're going into May. There's a lot of rumors of an upcoming OLED iPad. The iOS 18 beta cycle as well as iOS 18 is going to be worked on during the summer. Apple don't usually launch phones during the summer. Then we have the iPhone 16 models through the fall season. As those slow down, we're going to need a cheaper option as the iPhone 16s are going to get larger and probably more pricier. And that's where the SE4 will step in. And I really believe that's what's going to happen. I think we're going to see the iPads iOS 18, the iPhones, maybe some more Macs or iPads in the fall as well. And then I think we're going to see an SE4 launch in the spring of next year with an upgraded design closer to the 14, 13 with AI features, a single camera um, to compete a lot with those mid-range phones as well that are selling very well these days. And I think that's what's coming. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with this? And remember, this is all speculation. This could not even launch. Um, right now, it's just rumors. But I do think that's what's coming. Let me know if you agree with that down below or if you disagree or if you have any other comments. Let's discuss it down below. The upcoming iPhone SE 4. I wanted to get this out because I've been thinking about this and reading about this a lot. And I thought I'd share it with you. So thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Nick here. Be sure to be well. And peace. Thank you.